Hey everybody, please give a warm welcome to a new member of the HGMM team, Ben Bogard. Ben brings a lot of youthful energy to the channel and he's got a great head on his shoulders. Be sure to check out and subscribe to his channel, Ben Builds, for DIY projects, electronics, how-tos, and a lot more. For HGMM, he's going to be helping us find ways to save money in our homes. And a good place to start is by replacing our light bulbs. Our family saved over $300 switching to LED lighting. In this video, I'll show you how you can too, and back it all up with some math. Hi everyone, and welcome to Home and Garden for Mere Mortals. My name's Ben Bogard from the channel Ben Builds, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can switch from incandescent to LED light bulbs and potentially save hundreds of dollars a year on your electric bill. Let's get started. All right, so here's a side-by-side -side comparison of an LED light bulb here on the left and an incandescent light bulb here on the right. Now the main difference between these bulbs is how they produce light with the electricity that's put into them. Now this incandescent light bulb here on the right uses a filament of wire that basically acts as a heating coil. And what you see when this light bulb lights up is the light that's produced by the heating coil in this light bulb. Now, if we look at the numbers on the light bulb, you can see right here, it's a Philips bulb, and it says 40W. 40W means 40 watts, and below that you can see 470 lumens. Now, lumens are a measure of the light put out by a light bulb. So this light bulb uses 40 watts of power to produce 470 lumens of light. Now, this LED light bulb, on the other hand, uses only 8.6 watts of electricity, to put out 600 lumens of light. So 8.6 watts over here for 600 lumens versus 40 watts over here for 470 lumens. According to the back of the package right here, we can see that the estimated yearly energy cost of running this LED light bulb will be $1.04 a year based on three hours per day at 11 cents per kilowatt hour. So if we do the math, and figure out that this light bulb right here uses 40 watts of power, then we can extrapolate all of the rest of the information like so. Now, I know this channel is supposed to be for mere mortals, and therefore I am not gonna go through all of the math that I did, because frankly it would probably bore you to death, but suffice it to say that an incandescent light bulb uses 4.65 times the energy that an LED light bulb uses, which comes out to a total of $5.26 extra per light bulb per year that you pay in electricity. Now, if you're like me and you live in a state which requires perpetual air conditioning, like Florida, you also have to pay for the electricity cost in air conditioning these mini space heaters, which is so ridiculous. So one kilowatt hour is equal to 3,412 BTUs, yada 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 we do some math and it comes out to four dollars and 24 cents a year to air condition these bulbs per bulb so if we add those two numbers together we come up with a total cost of nine dollars fifty cents extra per bulb per year that we don't have to worry about when we switch to leds now you might be wondering well ben aren't led light bulbs like super expensive and actually, no, um, I bought these LED light bulbs from Ikea. Now, Ikea is originally from Sweden, but they're all over Florida here, and um, we've got a local one in Tampa. If you don't have one locally, um, you can also buy LED light bulbs online pretty inexpensively. Um, I think I paid about $2.60 for this light bulb right here, and although these incandescent light bulbs are a lot cheaper, you have to replace them much more often. If you look over here on the packaging, you can see that they're rated for 25,000 hours. So even if this light bulb right here only cost a dollar, we know we'd have to replace it at least two and a half times before this LED light bulb would go out. So I'd say for all intents and purposes, the overall investment is pretty much the same. You'll have to make a little bit higher upfront investment for the LED light bulbs, but as you can see, it's well worth it, and they pay for themselves multiple times over in just one year. Well, I went through the house, counted the light bulbs, and came up with 39 light bulbs. And 39 light bulbs times $9.50 per bulb per year means a savings of $370.50 
per year. That is absolutely enormous. And your family could save this much too if you switched all of your lights to LED. Thank you so much for watching Home and Garden for Mere Mortals. Also, don't forget to check out my channel, Ben Builds, at youtube.com forward slash Ben Builds DIY. Thanks everyone, and bye.